Hey, man. Hello? We're starting. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Is that why you wouldn't come to the door? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, Hold on. We're, we're shooting. We're okay, rolling. I know. I'm running. Hold on. If you can I'm hurry running. up, man. We've been waiting for you. Oh, How was your man. flight? I set my drink down outside the back door, and I left it. My big old water I had. Oh. Do you okay. need to go get it? No. Is it just sitting on the street downstairs? Yeah, it's a large water. I'm sure it's styrofoam. That's biodegradable. Oh, I was going to say, I thought you meant like it was like a water bottle. What's she looking sucks, at? sucks, dude. <laughs> Should have gone with the blue. <laughs> I knew you were planning that since yeah. last Are week. Are we actually recording right now? Yeah, we're, oh, we're, we're rolling. Time to we, waste. All right. we set up a shotgun and everything to catch you, and like there's a camera back there. Where? So, <laughs> back behind the screen. So we caught you right when you walked in. <laughs> okay. Glad I wasn't doing a bit, man. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I, was, I was nervous about that. But yeah, we're in we're Back in to our small table. Okay. All right. Run the episode then. We got right. rec- we're hey, recording a lot today. Have, have you ever heard of... No, I haven't. Let's go. All right. <laughs> theme song. Sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know I didn't have time to settle in. Hey, have you ever heard of uh, Taiko Bra? Taiko Bra. I think Taiko it's called Taekwondo. Oh, <laughs> say hold on. Say it again. Taekwondo. Taiko Bra. Oh. Brahi. Tycho Brahe. Tycho Brahe. Tycho Brahe. Okay. You I heard don't of know it? who that is. It? Well, I guess it's a person. <laughs> so it is, a, it is a he, not an it. You're right. All right. That's on you, dude. the door too or was it black? No, that was the color of the door when we got it. Oh, I don't remember anything about this room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. I don't know, man. We've got we've got some decor coming along. It's I'm pretty excited. Golly, about dude, I don't even time to like I just came from the airport. <laughs> yeah, how was it? How was your flight? I don't have time to do anything. All right. No, uh, yeah, we're shooting. We're I know we're going. <laughs> um <sighs> I like I like this. I got I don't know if we've commented on this yet in an episode. Yeah, but I do like this space because because uh, <laughs> we can't even see Alex. Yeah, he's in the, yeah we commented on it. We commented on <laughs> did it. Did we comment on yeah, it? Yeah, we did a whole bit about how he's in this closet. Okay, cool. You shut the door. I'm happy we did can that. You, from your little app, you unlocked the door. Did you yeah. hear me knocking? Yeah, I did. Okay, I did. And then Does you were like, you were, app, you were like, hey, press record. Work? He's stuck out there. <laughs> did your app not work? No, I don't know what that's what I'm saying. I gotta go downstairs and figure it out. How'd you from your in? app? Can you set the thermostat a little cooler in here? This yeah, hoodie is hot. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you wore that. Because I was on a flight. It's super comfy. Is the flight was the flight cold? You, you planes usually are. They're either freezing cold or boiling hot. Zero in between. What do you want the temperature at? I don't know. It's 53. currently set to 23 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think it's working. <laughs> oh, gosh dang it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. This is what we need a PA for. Alex, would you go set the thermos? I'm joking. <laughs> All right. We got new lights and new stuff. Kid, go on with the episode. Taekwondo. Taiko. Brahi. Brahi. Taiko Brahi. Taiko Brahi. Taiko Brahi. Um, yeah. So Taiko Brahi, he was a, uh, a scientist in uh, the late 1500s known for astronomy. Um, okay. And I should know astronomy, not astrology, but maybe a little astrologist astrologic astrologic astrologic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, here's I'll just show you. Here's uh, here's our guy Tycho Brahe. That's what he looks oh. like. Um, here's another depiction of him. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> pretty similar. Um, and then uh, <laughs> really defined mustache is that here's him with his nose. Uh, <laughs> is it his actual nose? That's like his, his like mummified his, nose? No, or something? no, it's like a bust. It's like a, a bust. <laughs> it's, like a, it's a bust it's of a his nust. nose. <laughs> It's a nose bust. It's a nose bust. Yeah, that's an option. Uh, yeah, you can't just if you're do, just if you're you poor, can, you can't do the whole head. You can do any part of you if you're whatever you want. Really? <laughs> Let me just get a cheek. You can do that. <laughs> I can just get, I can get one cheek. 
<laughs> made as a bust is what you're saying. Yeah, if you want one cheek, you can put that in the living room. I do want, but if I want yeah. both cheeks, <laughs> no, <laughs> that's too expensive. <laughs> Uh, uh, the rule, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Tycho. <laughs> okay. So Tycho, he, uh, I, I ran my my speakers through my back, and I here we go. That that'll work. Um, Tycho, he was born in uh, fifteen forty six, December fourteenth, fifteen forty six, uh, okay. to uh, parents who were royal heirs, kind of. We've been keeping the calendar that long. You know, December fourteenth, fifteenth, whatever. Yeah, just time keeps going. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just we've been keeping the calendar for so long. It is kind of peculiar if you think about it that it's like someone wrote all this down. Yeah, or or at least like described it enough where we could guess. You know, what do you mean? Like if they didn't write down, down particularly, the no, what happened? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like. Like his birth certificate. Like I guess they had had birth certificates back then. Did they have? See, I don't know how we know this. Like, how do we know when his birthday was? Are there archaeological records of? That's what I'm saying. The calendar just existed so long ago. He is an important guy, so it makes sense that we would know from him. He's He's important. He's very important, actually. I can tell by the character. The second character, you like the 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 drawing you drew. You drew. (laughs) I did draw this. Showed of him. Yeah, this looks like an important person. This is so this is yeah, because he's he's got to be a person in power because the the call they're making fun of him. Oh, oh, you know, oh, unless that's like unless he's like I really like this. This is exactly (laughs) what I look like style, but you know what I'm saying like it's a character. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I've got caricatures of me. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, what from like from a theme park? Do you think I'm in power? (laughs) When you sit down on a theme park and you pay that person to draw a character of you, yes, you have so much power over that person. That is privilege. You know, (laughs) that is something that you have the time to go to a theme park. Here's here. This is true. If you go to a theme park and you sit down and you get the character drawing, that means twenty five dollars. You're willing to spend. 45 minutes getting drawn yeah. by a dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and, and I'm it's saying not like it's a great drawing and w- my theme park experience because we, we were not like well off uh, yeah. like you, I guess yeah. was we don't have time to do that. We have to maximize our experience at this theme park because we paid a lot of money to be here. Ah, okay? okay, and so we brought our own peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that we're going to eat in line. No one eats any of the park food because it's way too expensive. And then uh, if you go to the bathroom, we also have a separate backpack for that. <laughs> 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 we don't waste any time. So, you, so what you're saying is, when people say check your privilege, yes, you check your I'm stack saying, of caricatures and yeah. see how many you got and where you got them. Yes. Oh, wow. Dang, I'm pretty privileged then. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've got a lot of caricatures of me. What, what about? What are you talking? <laughs> what about? about ones Why do you I have drew? a lot of characters of you? That's <laughs> something my parents liked. Like, All right. Whenever we would go we to a fair, put stuff a on these start, shelves. You think? I d- I put a couple things, uh, but yeah, I ran out of time. This is giving very. Uh, hey, we're under construction. Twenty-year-old kid in his first apartment. We're kind under of construction thing. here. We're still. This was just kind he's, of the stuff he, we had. The kid's around. got a girlfriend, so he starts to decorate a little yeah. bit. But he doesn't yeah. have a lot of money or stuff, so it just <laughs> so kind of looks just like. Kinda, <laughs> it's just. Oh look, I got this Obama action figure. I'll put that up. Yeah, <laughs> my great aunt gave me this vacuum lamp. <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, did did you see? I learned how to turn on the light, bro. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know it did that. Neither did I. <laughs> Where are our extenders? Uh, they're somewhere. I don't. That know would solve at. this problem. They're, I think they're actually in that drawer back I there. I thought that when I sat down. Yeah. Well, I thought when we put this up, when we you were this up, you were setting it all up. You got here and you were like, "Oh shoot, he's outside. He's outside. He's outside. I got to do a bit <laughs> right now." <laughs> well, honestly, we're closer to it now, and so I was like, "I don't know if we need him." Turns out that was wrong. We can add it. Anyways, so Tycho Bra Brahi is Brahi. Uh, it feels is like he a person should be Bra. Uh, we'll k- get there. Uh, kinda. Get rid of your picture. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. Um, he's kind of he's kind of a person of power. He was born into a noble line, um, mm-hmm. and so his parents were Adi and Beedi Bra Bra Brahi. Beedi is a good fifteen hundred names, and he's make a comeback. Beedi, you want to bring that back? Yeah. Yeah. Name your kid. I don't honestly. I'm not sure if Beedi is how you pronounce that. Um, bidet, but they were <laughs> they were a part of the the like noble royal court in mm-hmm. um, what country is this? 
Oh, I can't wait to see how this goes. <laughs> Denmark. <laughs> um, and so like they were uh, they were noble people, right? Not like noble, but like nobles. You sure. Know, you know what I'm trying to say? Um, and so they were relatively well off, but not, not like not like insane. Like, you know, like it was like it's like you guys are doing well, but you're not doing like I think it was like lower upper class, if that makes sense. Okay. I don't know if I know in middle class you make those distinctions, but I don't know if an upper class it's lower. Oh, they make class. those distinctions for sure. <laughs> I was actually just talking to uh, to uh, our our neighbor drove me to the airport this morning. Yeah, and uh, she was talking about how sometimes her boss will say stuff that she goes, "Oh, you have money," and you don't realize you have more money than all of us do. <laughs> <laughs> and so because uh, I was talking we just got back from our vacation and the yeah. whole time of that vacation I was like this is pretty nice, but I'm also seeing a lot of you know a lot of uh, what's this part of your body right at the, like between your shoulders like right here where your neck spine. and your shoulder. Yeah, just like top of the spine a lot of spine tats for a resort and I go. Oh, this isn't where rich people hang out. Uh, you know, yeah, I was like yeah. we're in our 20s and we can afford to be here. Yeah, uh, and there's a like a lot of you know, People in their forties and fifties who are there, and I go, see, you're not rich. You're, but they're, they're at the resort. Yeah, but we can afford to be there. Okay, you know, it's like a cruise. Yeah, you kind of. We're, we're better than a cruise. <laughs> That's a, what I'm saying. There's it's levels. That, it's the yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're we, they, this resort was better than a cruise. Uh, and a cruise is all fine. I perform cruises on them. You know, great. whatever. That's we great. Love I, love them. I, love I love them. All right. No, I'm saying there's, but there's also like she was like the, my neighbor was saying she's like there's. I've heard of these clubs and I said, oh, have you oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> these clubs that are like the billionaires hang out yeah, and they yeah, only yeah, want to yeah. hang out with each other. Interesting. I was like, yeah, they don't want to be around the poor's, but yeah. when they say the poor's, they, they mean, mean millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When billionaires yeah, are when like billionaires oh, are poor like, oh, people, oh, they mean millionaires. Yeah, I couldn't they imagine don't even think of us way. as people, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's and I don't right. think of you as so, people. <laughs> so this guy is was born into like a, was he born into a resort family? Like a, I think he was born into a resort family or a cruise ship I would say family. It's not a cruise ship family because cruise ship is cruise definitely families. above road trip families. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes, down yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. He's he's above cruise ship. He's in he's in resort family, right? Okay. He's in. But he's, all, the, he's, he's not in like all the, inclusive the, resort family. Sure, that's oh, where he is. Wow. He's so he's doing Fancy well. Stuff. He's doing well, right? I mean, he's an infant. He's not doing anything, but his family is doing well. And <laughs> but here's the thing. He's not contributing at all. <laughs> here's the thing. His uncle, his yeah. father's brother, is, goes by the name Jorgen. That was his birth name. That's the name he was given. Love That's why he goes by it. Uh, Jorgen. Uh, he was he was upper upper class. He was the one percent. In fact, he actually owned one percent of Denmark. Um, <laughs> oh, like actually. It's interesting because our one percenters own thirty percent. So. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty wild. Maybe catch up. It Morgan. is a little. Yeah, it's different, but he was he was. Did you see that? Uh, this is a total, but we did an episode about BlackRock. Yeah, but did you see the legislation that's proposed? No, what was that it? would outlaw companies from owning single hand single family homes. Interesting uh, or it being part of uh, investment portfolios. Interesting. Interesting investment portfolios is interesting. Yeah, uh, we could talk. We could talk about this at the after fiddle. I have thoughts. Mm-hmm. That is interesting. Um, no, okay. So Jorgen, his uncle Jorgen was one percent. Uh, it won't in, get passed, but incredibly wealthy. Sure. Um, it, an ancient billionaire, and then, I don't know if we can call ancient. He this owns is the cruise ship. This, he doesn't even the cruise ship. <laughs> The cruise ship is too poor for him. He's he got a cruise ship it. in the sky. They had that figured <laughs> out back that. then too, and then we lost it. And then we lost it in the mud, in the mud floods. floods. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. No, Jorgen. Uh, so Jorgen, for whatever reason, one day was mm-hmm. like, "Man, this kid, uh, I wish he was mine." And so he kidnapped him. <laughs> um, so he kidnapped. He kidnapped Tycho. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love my nephew. I love my nephew. Gosh, my nephew's awesome. I love my nephew. You're my son now. You're my son. I love my son. And he's contributed to my wealth. <laughs> what a psycho, dude. This is his brother's kid. Yeah, and so you're after, so jealous of your brother that you're gonna steal his kid, <laughs> which is crazy because you're the rich my one. High, my high school girlfriend and my firstborn. <laughs> so Adi, Adi, <clears throat> and Beatty, 
are like, hey, you kidnapped our son. And then they're like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> like, hey. <laughs> you kidnapped our kid. But then but then they think about it. They're like, wait a second. He's fine. Wait a second. He'll be he's, better off. He's 1%. We're we're lower upper class. What are we gonna do about it? <laughs> we're we're <laughs> is that kind of what it is? <laughs> no, it was more of like, hey, like honestly, our kids gonna have a better life. I don't know if it was even that. I think it was more. Hey, right now we're all inclusive resort. Honestly, family. dude, without a kid, we cut that kid out. Shut up. No, like we're a different level. No way. We're, we because they jumped into it pretty quick and they were like, I don't know if this is for us. And Jurgen was like, I think it's for me. And then they were like, They're honestly, like, that we does do sound like it's too, for you. actually like now that you say that like that does sound kind of great. I don't know if it was. I don't know. I don't know. But that's what it seems like. Yeah, that's what a lot of kids that's are what, doing these days. <laughs> Letting their uncles kidnap them. <laughs> oh no! I wasn't saying like, what, what's the kid gonna do? Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. So he gets. A he, lot of people are letting family members raise their kids so they can go buy tattoos and stuff. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, it's me again. Thanks for being here for this episode. Uh, if you like what we're doing, it does cost us money to do this, uh, and so just think about that. You know, that's it. Uh, I'm kidding. No, uh, we have Patreon supporters, and it really helps us to make this show possible. Honestly, we're so grateful for everyone who listens to the show. Uh, but there's uh, there's people who um, want to make more of it happen, and so they financially support the show. And, and you get a lot back for it. You get our private Discord uh, where we chat every day. We're hanging out and just getting to bond and hang out. We also do live Zoom hangouts for our Patreon supporters. You get exclusive merch. Uh, it's a good time. There's a lot, there's a lot in it for you, um, and and it's it's a lot in it for us because we get to know you better. You know, you're not just a, a number and a stat board or whatever, but you know, you're our friends and we appreciate you a lot. So consider doing that. Um, if not, then you can listen to this dumb little ad because that's how we're going to get money from you. <laughs> we're going to leech from you either way. We're going to get paid. We're in this for the cold hard cash, baby. <laughs> Anyway, here's an ad. How do they how do they get it though? I realized I forgot to put a CTA in mind. Oh, damn, you were doing gum it. Yeah, they can text Tillin to six six eight six six. Thanks, Jared. It, so he starts living with his uncle dad um, and um, Dunkle Dunkle <laughs> Dunkle Jorgen. <laughs> um, so Uncle Daddy Jorgen uh, <laughs> brings him in and <laughs> starts racing him, and he's like, "You're gonna be a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Lawyers are rich." Um, and so he sends him to law school. Well, I want to be an artist. And he's like, that's <laughs> too <laughs> bad. That's too bad. <laughs> and so he, he starts learning law. Sure. Um, he's going to law school learning all this stuff in Denmark. Yeah. Um, but while he's in law school, one day he looks up at the stars and he's like, those are really cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love them. I, I love those stars and kidnap the sun. <laughs> We're gonna steal the sun. <laughs> and space was like, I mean, honestly, like we kind of honestly, cool we don't really that. like it that much. <laughs> we hate the sun. Without it, <laughs> I think we could be star. we could be cruise ship people. <laughs> wow, life would be so much better without this stupid sun up here in space. Would so, you let me take your kid? Would I let you take my kid? Yeah, uh, it depends on the kid. <laughs> All right. Like, let's be honest, like. You can't, you can't really control what they end up. How long do you have a child before you go? This is not for me. <laughs> like, like you know, like because I remember when I first got my cat, there was a couple weeks there. I was like, I don't like this cat. <laughs> I think I'm. I got to get him out of here. But I now, mean, statistically, it's around six or seven, right? Now I die for that cat. But that's what I'm saying is like how long? <laughs> how long until? How yeah. long until a kid grows on you? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've heard it's supposed to be immediately <laughs> with like <laughs> evolution and like a <laughs> like a parent a it's parental the connection thing. Yeah, yeah, response yeah. stuff. No, but I don't believe no, that. Sometimes it might not be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, not in the, not in the last in not in God's six thousand years <laughs> have I ever heard a story. <laughs> <laughs> so he. He attended <laughs> law school. <laughs> Tim doesn't like that joke. <laughs> he attended law school. All right, um, and he saw the stars, and he was memorized by them. Mesmerized. Yeah, <laughs> I'll never forget those you. stars. Know me, dude. <laughs> so he uh, these, these stars have memorized my heart. So he 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 starts kind of like secretively studying the stars. Yes, yeah, can't let his uncle, uncle dad. Uncle no. dad, he would be pissed. Yeah, he's so <laughs> mad, dude. He's like, "You're studying law, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh." 
The tell law is me, down here, dude. Put your neck me, down. What are you tell doing? Tell me a law. Give me, give me any law. Say one law. It gives mm, him Newton's third law. I was gonna say law of gravity. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so he starts kind of secretively studying. Had uh, Newton done astronomy. his laws yet? I don't think so. When did <laughs> Newton do his laws? When did Newton do his laws? Uh, 1687. So no. Oh he wow! Like a whole hundred something years right, before. I right had a Newton. So he yeah, said it, dude. That's what he used. he casually just ripped it off. There, too. he's like the law of gravity. The law of gravity. Yeah. His he uncle was like, dad what was the like, heck is gravity? <laughs> he was like, okay. Shut up and start start talking about. <laughs> Shut up and arrest somebody. That's uh, yeah. what lawyers used to do <laughs> before the cops. That's also what the beginning of every cops episode in the 90s was. <laughs> Shut, Shut up and arrest somebody, somebody yeah. dude. You ever watch cops reruns? <laughs> it's aggressive. Like I can't believe they did that stuff. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, mean, so, I can. So he's so he's studying sure law, but also studying astronomy in his free time as like a hobby, right? That's fine. Well, Jurgen one day was walking down uh, a the 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 this road uh-huh. on another road next to the river, and he sees <laughs> this. Is, you're not gonna believe this. Rolling down the river, a body, and as it gets closer, he realizes it is the Danish king Frederick the Second. And Jurgen says, "My king," <laughs> and he jumps in the river and rescues King Frederick from this river. And so, what had happened was Frederick had a good night last night, was out oh, drinking, oh, and fell, in, fell the river. in the river in the morning. And Jurgen happened upon him. Jurgen in the morning finds him in the river <laughs> and says, "He is one of us now." <laughs> says, "Raise him as an Egyptian, right?" <laughs> and years later, years later. Him and Tycho, <laughs> they used to do chariot races. That's what I was trying to go to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, go ahead. Um, so yeah, he rescued King Frederick from the river, uh, and it was like this huge deal, right? Because obviously, this guy's already a big yeah. deal, but then he saves the king. Huge deal. Right? I don't know. Pretty convenient. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the conspiracy theorist in me says, just goes, "He pushed him in that river." Says King Frederick was drunk enough and then to he not goes, remember what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even fall in the river. History he is just, written by the victors. He just dumped a bucket of water on him and was like, "I saved your life." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh my god!" There's not even a river in yeah. the whole country. <laughs> he's like, Thank you. I fell in the river, and everyone's like, "What river?" They got him really drunk, <laughs> got him really wet, and then left him outside. And they were like, "He's gonna freeze to death." He's we know what we're freeze. doing. Freeze! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they made him eat some nails. Yeah, he's really rude. Um, so he. Uh, he rescued the king. That's what I'm saying, though. You get what I'm saying. He's, he definitely pushed him in the river. Well, I don't know because the way the story ends this is just the beginning. The king the goes, "Hey, I didn't want to be rescued." <laughs> the king pushes him in the river. No, uh, so he, the way the story ends is he uh, gets a fever and he dies because the king. The, no, Jorgen, Uncle Daddy, Uncle Father. Oh, he gets a fever from jumping in the river. From jumping in the river, he gets a fever and he dies, and so that ki- ends up killing him. Backfired. Um. Yeah, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if it was intentional. I think he was genuinely saying that he meant king. to catch a fever. Well, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I guess he could have done it and been like, oh, yeah, and then been like, shoot, I got sick. That's karma. That's what I'm saying. That's karma. So uncle father dies um, and uh, Tycho is the heir and so he inherits and how old is he now? He's like 16, so he inherits everything <sighs> Jeez. and he is just stupid rich. I think about that. How Patrick Mahomes yeah, has an insane amount of money. Yeah, um, and now other other professional athletes have had contracts that size. Yeah, bigger. But like, yeah. he's like he's younger than you and me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little insane. Could you imagine? Yeah, I could. I do all the time. <laughs> I think about it nonstop. <laughs> I actually. think about it. That's it all I think about. Keeps me awake at night. It's uh, the, the only thing I think about. That I am not in the billionaire weird club that they've got, but I yeah. am in fact. A road trip person. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm someone that they don't recognize as human. Wow, but I think about it every day. Yeah, when I'm looking at the stars. So, so what's he doing he, with his money? So he says he says he I'm going to buy this star. Well, he says <laughs> money. Yeah, it's only 50 bucks online. Can you believe crazy that? dude? <laughs> this is my bought star. it for my cat. See, <laughs> he, he says <laughs> forget this law stuff. He says I'm not going to study law anymore. Yeah, he says now <laughs> what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do space stuff, but they don't. I don't think they realize it's space yet. I'm going to do sky stuff nighttime sky stuff. Okay. Um, <laughs> when do they know the earth's round? 
I mean, they, I think they knew the Earth was round already. When did they know the Earth's not the center of the universe? I think they knew already. When did they know? <laughs> I mean, they were. I don't know. I don't. I guess I don't know how the past works. I don't know <laughs> what they knew, what they didn't know. I mean, they knew a lot of stuff at this point. Here's okay. what I'll tell you. They they knew there was a lot of stars up there, and they were had tracked the stars. There wasn't like great uh, telescopes to envision all this stuff yet, so like they could only see so much. Okay, you really could only see stuff with the naked eye. But they had tracked a bunch of paths of stars um, and figured out where they were moving and that they do move and that it's not us that's moving. It's the stars that are moving like they knew that for sure. I know okay. they knew that for sure because of some of his discoveries. Uh, everything else. I don't know what they knew. Sure, um, but so he starts studying that and and he starts studying a couple other things that were like kind of interesting to him. So he went to this university and so he started studying <clears throat> medicine and um, alchemy and you know just some random other side interests. Sure. And he's at a party one night. He's now college age. Is alchemy essentially just like what we would do is like pharmacy. Yeah, it's pharmacy. Yeah, alchemy is pharmacy. Right. Um, but it's We're a little more mystical. Yeah, you. It's it's pharmacy with black robes instead of white robes. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Similar. It's a little witchcraft. It's a little witchcrafty. Sure. But it's not. It's not. Not any more than now. Anyways, uh, so he he's in university. Um, yeah. And he's. He's studying and him and a bunch of friends throw a party one night and he starts arguing with this guy about who's the better mathematician because at the time that was like who's that was like who's the hottest like who can bench more. Like yeah, <laughs> he's like he's like I know a lot of math um, and he's like I know more math and so they were arguing about it going back and forth for a while um, and they to got impress s- a girl or what I don't know. I'm I'm who knows uh, probably maybe I don't know uh, and this fight escalates. They both end up in the river. Well, it escalates to the point where they say, let's have a duel. Um, I love it with swords. Like, this is what they have. Yes, no, no guns yet. Um, when do <laughs> when do people find out about guns? <laughs> they, I think they discovered them in like 17 something. I don't know. 16 something. It, okay. They're close. They're soon. They're, they're coming almost. quick. <laughs> they're coming quick. It's probably after this duel. He goes, man, that would have been greater <laughs> if I had if I had a shooting if, sword. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a sword that I could He's like, he's like, think about shooting stars, but if I could do that from my hand, um, so he invented it. No, so they had this sword duel, yeah. and uh, he lost. Uh, and a part of losing meant that uh, in the sword duel, the his opponent, the other mathematician, who probably not as good of a mathematician, but a better sword fighter, <laughs> uh, <laughs> sliced him across the face and gave him a nice little scar on his in his brow. And also cut off his nose. Um, oh, that's why his nose bust. That's that's the nose bust. That's that was his nose, but it wasn't a nose. You know, as a prosthetic. Uh, so he had a bronze nose he made, and he glued it on his face every couple of weeks. Well, that's not in the painting. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it is in this painting. Um, <laughs> he looks like the Burger King king. <laughs> Um, so he had he had a variety of noses. He cut off his nose. Yeah. So he had a variety of noses. He had a bronze nose. I'm gonna shut up so you can get to the interesting stuff about these people. <laughs> he wore the for so long. Nose. You just rambled about Uncle Daddy's, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you go. He didn't have a nose. He had a bronze <laughs> he nose. Had a bronze nose. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> yeah. So he didn't have a nose. He had this bronze nose. And okay. He he had an assortment actually. He, he regularly wore the bronze was. Oh his yeah, daily yeah, yeah. Wear. He's got different different noses for different outfits. Yeah. That makes sense. So he had a silver. He had a gold for special occasions. Sure. Um, he had a wooden one. One. Um, he had all these different <laughs> um, stupid little wooden <laughs> nose. different noses for different. He, you need different noses for different things. You know, um, you go so, to like a cobbler who makes the noses. I, I don't know. He's the one percent. He, he he's got a nose guy. <laughs> he's got a nose guy. <laughs> yeah, I got my nose done. <laughs> I've got a nose guy uh, who does all my nose stuff. And then I've got a, a nose guy who's just knows a lot of stuff. I uh, just he's very good mathematician. This is like a northern yeah, North Dakota accent here. for some reason. I get what you're saying. He just knows a lot of stuff. He just knows things. I I broke. My so head. in that painting then yeah, is this before the duel or did they just paint him with a human nose? I don't know if this was before the duel or if they did him justice. I like, I could not tell you. I don't I don't okay. have an answer to that question. Sure. Um. But yeah, so he he uh, <laughs> he lived his life noseless. Um, oh, cool! It sounds like you're at the end of the episode right now. <laughs> yeah, so he, um, <laughs> he lived his lived life, his life with noseless. no nose. No, uh, this is just the beginning. He's living noseless. He now knows a lot about space and stars and science and things like that. Um, 
who cares? He he actually he does discover a lot of important stuff. He, I wonder. Do you think the sun shines off his gold nose like into his eyes? You know, it's got to be if it's bright enough. Yeah, probably it's like a bright day outside. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And maybe he maybe he like has a matte finish on it. Oh yeah. I mean, I think I would figure he would figure. Did he out. did he create a trend? Did other people do this? What did it become like grills? I don't your think nose? so because you got to cut the nose off to do it. I mean, well, I, I mean, guess <clears> other people could have. I mean, we probably would know. Like, we probably would around this time see a lot of people with little nose things. Um, if that was a thing, I think that if I was rich and I had some kind of face deformity, I would pay people to, to like also make that a trend. Yeah, so that way you don't feel weird about so it. So that way it just looks like I'm trendy and not and not deformed, messed up. Yeah, yeah. That's a anyway. Um, that's a. It's you know you can feel comfortable in your skin, but. So he, <laughs> he, he's he's a big figure in science. He discovers a bunch of stuff sure. about space and <clears throat> recalculated a lot of positioning of stars and their routes. And it was hugely influential, right? Yeah. Um, he actually trained uh, Johannes Kepler, who, who you know. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> do you know that name, Kepler? Yeah, Johannes Fabrics. Mm, Kepler. Joanne's. <laughs> You're thinking of Joanne's. <laughs> you know, different, 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 store. different. <laughs> Hello, is this Johannes <laughs> Fabric? Excuse this me. Is Joanne's. <laughs> oh no, I'm looking for Johannes, Johannes. Fabric. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so dumb. That was a bad joke. Hey, don't call me dumb. Okay, sorry. So stupid. <laughs> so he he it, called it, me was, dumb four times today. He's a big deal in science, right? Who cares? Um, he goes into the woods one day. <laughs> <laughs> he he leaves the house and he's like he's like bye everybody. I'm going to the woods. Um, okay. He comes back in, from the woods after hours out there. <laughs> with I kid you not a full grown elk that he has somehow like domesticated. (laughs) 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 And he brings this elk. I thought you were saying he's like he's killed an elk. (laughs) No, you're saying (laughs) no. He's like on a leash. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. dude. What's the pet policy of this Hampton in? Am I allowed to bring (laughs) my elk inside? (laughs) And so he walks back into his house and this elk just lives at home with him and like a dog like will lay in the living room lives Dude, in it's the so house. annoying whenever I'm like in bed, right? I get in bed and my elk runs in and just jumps <laughs> just straight, straight on, my on my chest. Dude. It's, it's really frustrating when I'm sleeping and the my elk is sleeping on the other end of mm-hmm. like on the floor, but on the other end of the bed and then it gets up and his horn gets caught in the sheets and it rips all the how, sheets off. <laughs> how big of a house do you have to have for an elk to oh, comfortably live there? I'm glad you asked this. Um, so he had built. Oh uh, goodness! <laughs> um, so that's Frederick, pretty elky. Remember King Frederick the um, second? Yeah. He said. He said your uncle father saved my life, and also you can have. I've always really liked you. <laughs> he says, you're you're my son, son now. now. <laughs> no, but he did say. He did say. He said whatever you want, you can have. He said I know you already. That's kind of already your life because you know you're one percent. But he's like, but now you're point one percent. Now you look down on the one percent. See, and this is what I'm saying. <laughs> if I knew it was going to bring me those riches, I would push a king in the river. I'll push King Charles in the river. I'll do it. I want it on record so right now. Most people <laughs> that I would push King Charles into a river, and I might save him. If 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 I bet I could get this house, yeah, I try to. I'll, save I'll push it a king in the river. <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking out this episode. If you like this and you want more of our show, we've got plenty of other episodes. One of my favorites is Action Park, a super sketchy theme park that was basically overrun by teenagers and they just made the rules. Uh, It was in New Jersey. It was a wild story, uh, but we did a whole episode about it and I think you'd like it. So uh, when you're done with this one, go check out that episode. But for now, back to this one. So he he gave him this house and he said he said he said I'll build whatever you want. So he actually got an island. He built him this island and here's a, a sky view of it. So this is an artificial island um, with walls around it and then in the middle is his house. He's got all these gardens, but then on the corners you see those two towers. Those are his science facilities um, and then the other corners got two. Where more in towers. the world was this? Do we have this on a map? This doesn't exist still. Uh, I don't think so. 
I don't think it still exists. I don't know if we the have it. On island I know it exists, right? I know it's in Denmark. I mean, maybe wouldn't the island still well, let's um, uh, palace. This is crazy. Castle of Urania is what it's called. Castle of Urania. Did he discover uranium today? He did. <laughs> no, he didn't. Uh, okay, here's this. Uh, let's see all of the pictures. Oh, here we go. Hey, <laughs> what? It's a subway now. <laughs> Denmark has, has a little island out there. You gotta get to it by boat, and it's just a gigantic <laughs> just a subway. subway. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I swear everything I've looked at said that this was an island, but I think it's just a land island. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> and this looks way smaller. So now I'm very confused. Oh, but that's definitely it, though. That's the same layout for sure. Go back to your other picture. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, which is interesting though, because this looks very small. Well, I mean, I mean, it's I, big, I, I but it's also that, it's next to this church. That's well, no, those houses right there. Those are pretty, houses are pretty small, pretty like normal size are, houses. Yeah. So I mean, like probably, you know, go back to the other picture that that was in the center. I mean, when you really look at it, it's only a three story building though. Yeah, you know, and I guess if you look across like it's like I mean you got one two three windows across the main section and then those yeah, I mean, porticos. That's not, I mean it's very I mean, very it's, decadent and fancy, yeah, but this is massive huge. for the time as true for the time. This is this is yeah, it's like a like you know the 2004 Ford F 150 huge, huge. to 2004 Ford F 150 compared to that's a good point. You know, that's a good point. Current. It is, it is kind of like if if Mr. Beast was then this would be the top of the top 10 video. Yeah, yeah, where yeah, he'd be yeah, like, yeah I stayed yeah. in this hotel. I stayed yeah. in here for and this was the last hundred one days. He did. How much time is he putting into these videos? How long ago is he doing those? Is that person just surviving a grocery store for like he's got them happening all at once. There's like he's got like 12 kids trapped in grocery stores all over the world right now <laughs> and like three of them don't survive. You can't put that video. Yeah, out. You can't put that one out and he just pays the family. Yeah, yeah, he just pushes the family in a river <laughs> one by one. Okay, it's for a video. I'll pay you. I love the stars. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the stars. Now, here's another view of this, uh, but it's a little bit more stylized. <laughs> Okay, uh, but he's got all his science instruments. You can see he's got oh, stuff sure, to sure, look sure, at sure, space sure. around there. I don't know. He does. So I mean, like that's stuff. that's a real thing. It still exists. Yeah, it's just, it is much less impressive, honestly. Definitely than not I an thought island. it was. I swear it was an island. Maybe, maybe honestly, maybe it dried up. Maybe it wasn't a very deep island. Like maybe this was. Maybe they see how it's it like you, 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 oh, you think so because as I say you can see how it's like raised it up on the raised. side there like maybe, huh. yeah, maybe they there's a dam nearby or maybe they just had a different definition of island like that's an also isle, an true. isle of land. Yeah, honestly that could be water. <laughs> yeah, I mean if your eyes don't work. Yeah, I mean if you're dumb. <laughs> So, anyways, so he uh, he builds this big big palace, and him okay. and him and his elk. He, uh, he builds a moderately sized palace. It, he, yeah, honestly, it, as far as palace standards go, I would say that's an all inclusive resort. You're right. You're right. Honestly, that might be a cruise. Because <laughs> even for the time, like like you've seen some of those castles, those ancient castles. I haven't. Oh, well, here's one for you. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is Tycho is this? Uh, with his golden nose, but also if he was also merged with his, elk. his pet elk. Yeah, oh, weird. Um, so anyways, so him and his elk became a big deal in the town. Everybody loved Tycho and his elk and he would go into town and the elk would trot along his carriage next to and his, then his elk murdered three people <laughs> close um, <laughs> one day uh, they go to a party and uh, <laughs> this elk, this elk went to every party with him and sure. the elk developed a taste for beer. Um, and so at the party, the elk would out drink everybody shut um, up because it's an elk and it can drink a lot more. So at one of these parties, this elk, I kid you not got blitzed and tripped and fell down a staircase and died um, and it and it 
broke Tycho. Like this was like his favorite thing in the world. Like he loved what? this. You're elk. saying this elk. <laughs> I'm sorry. This elk. This elk. I'm not even. The kidding. elk is not an allegory for something. It's not like no, some like. No, this is a literal elk that he got from that, the woods. That, so this elk <laughs> is drinking at the parties. Yes. Getting drunk with all the patrons. Yes. And then falls down the stairs. <laughs> and falls down the stairs and dies. So this elk is drinking beer. Yes. All right. Yeah. Top top shelf. Uh, I mean, probably probably the locker behind the shelf. So top shelf. Yeah, alcohol. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. so you're saying elk on top <laughs> shelf. <laughs> and then hate this. Yeah, yeah. Elk on the top shelf. Everybody else was bottom shelf. Yeah, and if you, you touch him, if you touch him, you, you touch die. Me, die. <laughs> you die. <laughs> if you touch him, you that's die. a different thing. <laughs> yeah. We should write a book for next year for parents. Yeah. Uh, because elf on the shelf is a fun idea. Yeah, it's a great idea on like December 3rd, but like by December 18th parents are stressed dude Uh huh. because they're they've run out of ideas. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we write a book with ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and just every year we put out our new elf on the shelf ideas. Interesting. I think I like where you're going with this. Yeah, um, I've also discovered something while you were while I was not listening to what you were saying just now. Um, <laughs> okay, look this is an island. It just is further away from the island. So here's what I think. Here's what I think actually happened. I oh. think he got the whole island and I think they uh, put this, this just in where the middle is. of the island. That's in that was his house. Okay. I think that's what is going on here. Yeah, you just could not handle being wrong. I couldn't. I had to figure out a way I was still right. Um, wow. So there we go. Uh, I think who knows? Or maybe the water level receded. I mean, look at the foundation of his house. I mean, can you zoom in at all or uh, not on this screen? No, I don't oh, okay. think so at least because that's clearly the foundation of the house. Yeah, yeah. That's really fascinating. Interesting. Um, so he is the, the elk dies and it was a tragic thing for him because he was <sighs> close to this elk. Oh, yeah, and so he started looking f- to fill the void um, and so he's going into the woods every night looking for another elk can't find one, um, but lo and behold in town there was a local jester um, that okay. w- kind of looked like an elf or an elk <laughs> <laughs> and kind of like an elk and he is like you'll do you'll I want you I want to be my pet you um, <laughs> <laughs> close um, so it was this um it was a it was a, a guy named Jep um, and Jep Jep. Yeah, J E P P Jep two piece <laughs> two piece. Yes, two piece Jep Jep. Um, he was a local. He was a local jester. He was also um, a dwarf and he took him in uh, and he said you're now my jester and so he paid him like this sure is, he's not a barbarian, um, but he uh, Jeb became the elk in his life, and Jeb followed him everywhere. Jeb told him jokes, and he'd be like, "He'd be like, oh, we're having a good time. Make an elk noise." <laughs> and Jeb would have to be like, ah! "He's like, that's not, that's not even close." <laughs> <laughs> he made him wear antlers. <laughs> All right, good morning. It's time to. <laughs> Ride around our <laughs> island. <laughs> he's just right. He's got antlers on. <laughs> he's like, you need to carry me around this island. Yeah. Okay. Third of his size. Um, and so Jeff. Genuinely, I don't know if I, we don't have any account of what Jep thinks, but uh, Tycho, <laughs> Tycho, in multiple writings of his, said that Jep was his best friend. Okay, um, but we do know <laughs> Jep is like I'm just paid to be here. Uh, we do know that he didn't treat Jep great. Okay, um, for example, um, he pulled pranks on him all the time. Um, <laughs> just great practical jokes, which is uh, best friend stuff, right? Um, and then yeah, what kind of practical jokes? <laughs> I mean, it depends on the practical joke. I guess I, I don't have any record of his pranks. I just know he pulled pranks on him all the time. Uh, I also know that he um, he he made him eat under the table. Um, 
I'm sorry. What? <laughs> he said the table is for me. The, the elk used to eat under the table, so you need to too. The elk used to eat <laughs> under the table. How big is the table? You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if the elk ate under the table. I made that part up. Oh, okay. but he did. He did make Jep eat under the table. Um, so I not, don't want to look at you while I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not like a great friend, but he was. He said he was his best friend. Um, but you know, sure, it's one of those friends where it's like we're really good friends, but honestly, like, hey, when we go to Hawaiian Bros later, yeah, I want you to eat under the table <laughs> <laughs> and don't acknowledge it. <laughs> we'll just be having a normal conversation. Yeah, and I'll just be sitting under the table. Just yeah, there's a lot of cops there. They'll arrest me for that. I bet they'll think I'm high. We'll see. Yeah, it'll be rough. We'll find out. Maybe you'll get tased. You might be onto something here. Um, so. Tycho's Tycho's life continues to be really weird um, and he discovers a few more things uh, has a couple more successes. Uh, you know, whatever it's what's he discovering. I his science stuff like he f- he figures out where the stars move and how they move. He charts them and sure he discovers a bunch of stuff, right? It's really not who cares. Um, <laughs> He does. He does discover a lot of really more, important. It more is his best friend. More, more the interested table. in all the weird stuff in his in his life. No, he he discovered a lot of stuff about stars and motion and the moon. Sure, um, and the way that all that stuff worked together, right? Um, and he trained Kepler, and Kepler was hugely influential. He was also really influential, but Kepler was hugely influential. You know, um, but Kepler and him had a problem because um, uh, Tycho wouldn't share his notes. Like he was very secretive about his stuff and Kepler was like, it's for the good of science. Like we got to be able to work on this stuff together, right? And he was like, no, it's my stuff. Um, and he was like, he's like, but we need to, we got to work together. He's like, but nah, it's my stuff. It's mine. Um, well, one day uh, Tycho just ups and up and dies and everybody was like, how old? Um, let me check. How long did rich people live back then? Uh, he was he was fifty four, not seven hundred years. He was fifty four, which I think the I think we were about normal lifespans at this point. So right, like, this was a little young. No, we weren't. We were not I mean, at if you eighty were, year if you were rich. Oh sure. Um, I mean, yeah, the poor is not even close. But um, he fifty four was pretty young for a man okay. of his status, uh, and it was it was like a surprise. Right, it came out of nowhere, and yeah. so. Uh, Everybody immediately. He got drunk, <laughs> fell down some stairs. <laughs> Everybody immediately looked to Kepler. Was like, hey, and was like, hey, we know you guys have been arguing about some stuff lately. And what have you been arguing like, about? You want to see his his notes? Like he. Did you kill him? And so they were like, Kepler, did you slip him some mercury in his drink? And everyone was, and he was like, no, no, I didn't do that. So they started investigating him, um, and uh, it turns out he didn't. Uh, they, they didn't figure that out. But okay. They uh, they suspected foul play for decades um, until everyone was dead and no one cared about it anymore. Yeah, uh, until 2010. In 2010, they exhumed his body because some people were like, "We want to know. We want to see that nose. We want to know what happened." Yeah, so that that was his nose that they dug up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was his fake nose. It wasn't a bust. Yeah, no, that was that was his actual nose that he wore. This is they dug it up. And so okay, imagine <laughs> you don't know. You're just a grave robber. Yeah, right. You're just a grave robber. Yeah, you don't know any history. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're digging up graves. I'm just out here digging. You're up a graves. robber. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, you rob graves. Yes, you're a grave robber. Yes, yeah. Thanks. You go to graves. <laughs> <laughs> you dig them up. You dig them up. Take all the valuables. You rob them. So you, <laughs> okay. So he's a grave <laughs> robber. You dig up this guy's grave. You see a skeleton. Yes, and just a full, like just. No, what is that made out of? This is bronze. Bronze I mean, but it's, it's 500 years old, so it just looks like stone at this point, honestly, but it's bronze. Spooky yeah. stuff. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> yeah, you think man, this guy's nose survived. <laughs> That's a magic nose. I can't rob I'm this guy keeping this nose. Should I eat it? What do I do with the What do you do with the magic? No, you're nose a grave robber. <laughs> no, that's right. You're not a you grave rob- eater. So what you do? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> So the so the so they I'd say exhume, it'd be pretty freaky. They exhume his body. Okay. Everybody everybody thought up until 2010 they're like somebody killed him. Somebody offed him. So like for 400 something years yeah. we can just we can still tell. Well, I, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how they figured this out. It's made up. 
I don't know. They how made they, it up. I don't know how they figured this out, but they were able to determine after exhuming his body that he had died <laughs> from the ghost of his elk. He had died from a bladder infection and the way <laughs> I say how okay, I don't know how they figured this out, but they did and what they figured was he uh, was at a party with the king and tradition said that when you're at anything with the king, you, you don't, don't stand up before the king and they're at the party and the king wouldn't stand up, but he had been drinking a lot and he really had to pee and so he sat there and he held it and he held it and he held it until he gave himself an infection and then a couple weeks later he died not realizing he was dying from the inside probably uncomfortable, but not realizing he was yeah, dying and he was dying from the inside. That's pretty crazy. What are you he, doing? I'm doing what you're doing. I'm right not now. whispering. You're like, I'm not even close well, to whispering. He didn't realize that he <laughs> this is himself this is the true crime segment. Okay, we'll put some music behind it. Okay, cool. Um, but it, there's no crime. It was just him trying not to pee and embarrass himself. Yeah, in front of the you know, king. <laughs> that kind of sucks. <laughs> and so uh, that's a pretty 1500 ways to die. 1500. <laughs> 1500 yeah, 1603 at this time. It was a pretty 1600s way to die. Yeah, yeah. So like 50 years before Newton's third law. Yeah. Or second or first. <laughs> Any of them. <laughs> Any law. How long before his Newt his fig Newtons? Is it, I think that was pretty early. So okay. it's probably only like 20 years. That yeah. that came quick. <laughs> his figs. <laughs> he was like I need to come up with a way to put these in some sort of creative bar. <laughs> Stupid. He's like six. So stupid. <laughs> so, anyways, so yeah, this is that's um, that's Taika Bra. He had a uh, Brahi. I think it's Brahi. I really do think it's Brahi. He had a weird nose, a weird elk, a weird best friend um, that he wasn't very nice to, and then he died because he had to pee. <sighs> well, he also contributed to the science. We don't want to undercut uh, yeah, that. Yeah, but like, there's all that <laughs> stuff all about that you know, science he, he figured to. out some space <laughs> stuff. You know, yeah, we know about some space stuff. He did discover the first nebula. Um, and he was the first person to discover that there were stars that were like further away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like he's like he's like see those stars are stars that are further. He was the first one to figure that out. Okay. Yeah. So that, that was a big deal. He did that with no nose. So if you're listening to this and you're missing a nose, a nose or yeah. a couple fingers yeah. or just look to the stars. If you're listening to this and you're alone inside your bed and it's dark at night and there's a man in your doorway without okay. a nose that's and enough. a hat. That's <laughs> enough. It just might be Tycho Brahe <laughs> looking for his. Hey, have you seen my nose? Here, you got to go fiddle him off. <laughs> hey, thanks for making it to the end of this video. Uh, if you like this and you want more episodes, there's more somewhere around here and also clips from the show. Uh, but make sure you subscribe. Please do that. That really helps us. Um, it makes us feel good. We look at the number and we go, oh my gosh, there's more people who like us. Um, and it also just makes sure that you don't miss episodes in the future because we put these out every single week and there's so many in the past, so many old episodes you can go watch. And you know, there's an entire season of episodes that we didn't even have video for. So you can go listen to those if you'd like to as well. Thanks for being here. We'll see you again next week on, on things I learned last night. That's this podcast, called, right? right? That's this one. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Things I learned last night. That's the one. All right, you're free to go. Great.